sugars back again today that looks a bit well today some good news at last right I just, well i came back uh, about an hour ago and a shower and um and a little bit of rest i went to the job center today and remember i said to you that was going to pay me pay a month in the hotel and they're only going to pay a few days they're going to pay them um, because i have to get out of here wednesday so they're going to pay wednesday thursday friday now she was she's quite good she's when i get on my feet i'm gonna get her a box of chocolate or some biscuits she said i don't have to but from that day when i went in in such a state crying everything she's been very helpful housing options i've got a, um, a phone call on that day on friday i think i might be working there at quarter to two and what she said they're gonna give me temporary accommodation it's like a studio flat what they call it studio flat yeah, studio like bed sit one room like I'm living, and they're gonna do do that. She said she don't know where, so she's been fired because what happened was he, the job center man said to me, phone them. He gave me the phone to phone. She said, then um, what's your name, Angela Bernard? She said, well you you found us before. Your case is closed. I said yes, well I'm working now. She said, she said we told you before, so she keep on saying we told you before. You've got we can't do anything for you because you're not connected and all that. So I give it to the bloke. So he talk and then he went to the girl talk, and then she went to the housing option manager, and he said yeah we can um, phone her Friday um, from there. And then she said to me she's ready to kick them. So it looks like maybe I get somewhere Friday afternoon or Monday. We'll have to see because. I won't have no way Saturday and Sunday again. So we just have to see and I'll let you know what happened. But it looks good. So I'm feeling a bit better now. So until I get the keys and that, I don't care where it is. So it's somewhere, I don't have to worry then. Because she said to them, she said somewhere where she can leave the pets, go to work and come back. Instead of worrying, like go to work, oh God, I got to get back. Like now, Wednesday, I'm in work. I'm going to try and see if we can pay for here because it's no good. Wednesday going work and then have to come 12 o'clock the woman already gave me warning so I can't so but she said she's we are supporting her to keep her in work because she was telling the manager here and because I was supposed to get discount but I don't think it's kicked in yet so yeah so that's good that's one good thing this has a bit off my mind I got one of these from um I think it was on Barkins I never seen these before we don't get them in Birmingham, years and years ago. And they gave me £7, but I'm going to get one in the market. I wasn't too keen on this. This is to put my phone, because when you're working, you've got no pockets, nothing. I thought that could put around my waist and put my phone and my glasses, because I'm, I'm finding I need to wear my glasses for um to look at things, because with the clipboard, and it's just got that. But the other one in the market, was this was £7. I said to her the one I saw was eight seven ninety nine. And it had more pockets, so I could put more things in it, but it's just got, so I'll get that. I'll get that when I get, um, when I get some money, I'll get that one. But this one I'll just keep and I might just pass it on to someone if they want it. But yeah, so I've got that. So yeah, I thought I'd let you know, a bit late, so I'll keep you in, up to date. The girl at the job centre said, you should write a story. I said, well, I'm doing a YouTube documenting. She said, oh, am I in it? But yeah, and she was asking how the pets was, I said... The cats, I said they're all right, but when we go different place, they do come out and check. But yeah, so I've got that. So I've got that one um, telephone arrangement, I think it says there. So. And yeah, so that's hopefully things are starting to get a bit better. God, once I get somewhere, I'll be, be happy and then I can just work and don't have to worry then go to work and worry oh my god can i get money to have somewhere to stay but i think i've i've um, been through it now i don't know how i manage that night when i was out there on the streets walking up and now i don't know i think that's why i cracked up at the job center when i cried i just don't know i don't, I don't know how i carried on i tell you it's, it's coming now to a happy hopefully fingers crossed it's coming to an happy ending and like i said you guys have been with me from the start and now hopefully things better to the finish so 
and i really really appreciate that guys you've been very kind and very thoughtful and very um worried because i always do a video and hope some of you guys well more, well all of you really not some of you all of you have been message leaving message on sharon and leaving messages how are you how are you doing so that's very kind of you like i said i know um i know you guys don't care but i'm gonna do a little giveaway so much to shame i can't give it to everyone and um to say thank you but once i pick it, set everything out and sort everything out, i'll do that i might do it christmas time and yes so it looks like it's gonna be good she because she said to them she said we don't want her to lose her job we're supporting her through this so because she said after Thursday she won't be there, just be back to normal. So I was lucky finding her. And then they moved to the other job centre up, um, I think it's Duke Street they're moving up there. Is it Duke's? Duke Street? I think it is Duke Street. So, But yeah, guys, uh, it's coming now to the end. Oh, happy ending. At least I'm not going back to Birmingham. So now I can be happy, I can work and just get what place i get they said it's going to be temporary and then after that i'll get um permanent because i keep trying to find private but it, uh, so they might help me to get um somewhere and then that's it sometimes it's a temporary you can be there for quite some time but at least i won't have to worry then i'll have a key and then i can just come in leave the dog don't have to worry go and that'd be good and then what i might do as well i might go back to Birmingham and just bring bits of stuff like my clothes. I've got a kettle, toaster, things that I can put on the train, bring back, bring back here. I can't get me the microwave and that's that's for sale. It's too heavy anyway. I might just get a little one and um it's too big to carry. Nobody's bought that I don't think. No, I'll have to I don't think nobody's bought that with the washing machine yet. The television is still there, nobody's bought that. But all the other stuff they bought. So I've got me um suitcase with clothes. I've got me kettle. I can bring that toaster. I can someone to make toast. See things like that I don't wanna buy because that money can go to somewhere else. And charity shop, I can just get some old curtains, throw up and might get a chip might get I might just get a duvet and just chuck it on the floor. And um if it's got no carpet nothing, I can just chip the get some bits stuff but as long as i've got a roof over me i can keep warm i don't care might just get a little telly and that's it and um that'd be all right because i'm living in one room in the hotel so but yeah i thought i'd let you know folks so um tomorrow i'm off to work 10 o'clock i don't know i think it might be half three see if i can link up with that girl and then wednesday and then maybe the weekend i might just um the weekend i might just um i might just uh, try and do it myself if i'm working weekend i'm a bit i might still carry on working with the girl and then slowly go on my own and then see what happens and and that's it then so yeah so i'm gonna rest today i do today it was i went out was in that job center from 9 12 then come back Went back at two, didn't come out till about half four, nearly five o'clock. So I was going to take her for a long walk, so I might do it tomorrow when I finish work. Because she said the money's going to come through tomorrow, then I can book the rooms. So, because I was going to do a month, but with that, so. But yeah, so things are looking up at last. It's a medical black cat and all you guys praying, fingers crossed as work. So carry on. And thank you so much. You don't know how much I appreciate it, really really appreciate that and i know you've been there for me through the the tough times and now the good times are coming so you'll be there and what i'm gonna do is show you the pets i know you all like to see the pets there's rosie sleeping and the cat yep they've had so much sweet and they're all right. It's okay. It's much. That's it. You saw the pets. And yes, so everybody's all right. So like I said, guys, thanks very much. And I'll 
tomorrow I'm at work and I'll do another video. There won't be much now. Sadness coming up now, so it'll be all smiles and happiness. So I'm feeling a bit better. Still a bit, you know, until I get somewhere. It's still, I still have it in my mind that something could go wrong and that's so it's just until. But yeah, folks, so hopefully no more. Um, it's just be, um, I'm here tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We'll have to sort some of out, but hopefully the weekend, everything. Because she didn't give me the money. Because what she's going to do is put the money in my account, then I pay for it. And she didn't give the money for all the, um, for all of it. So she must know some of so I think um, she must know. She said they're going to sort you out. So she must know what's going on. They won't tell you, will they? So yeah, folks, I thought I'd let you know. And everything's all right. And tomorrow I'm work. And hopefully I should get my uniform. So I'll come back on tomorrow and let you know the day I've been. But like I said, I've got that. I'm going to get the one in St. John's Markets a bit better, this one. I told her what it was, but she didn't. Because that one's got more pockets. Because I'm going to put my glasses and stuff. Because you got no pocket, so it'd be better. So yeah, folks. So um, you all have a good evening, and thanks again. Appreciate it for the compliments and the encouragement. Everybody's been so lovely with the encouragement and tell me to keep on. Sometimes I feel like give up, but it worked out in the end. So hopefully everything will be all right Friday. Wait for the phone call and see. I might be working, so I might just make sure I hear out for the phone call. I think what they do, they ring you, then tell you, and then maybe you just go and get the keys or something that we see. All right, folks, so that's it. Nothing else to report back, so you take care and cheers.